What's going on guys? It is Dan with Right Now Powder and I am in my noisy, noisy shop. And today's video is going to be a fun one. We are doing some signs. These are for people that I know uh, for Christmas. So we've got our plasma table. We're cutting out signs and we're going to show you guys how we do a three colored sign on one piece and it's not all powder. So you're going to want to see this. Let's get it started. All right, guys, we've got part number one right here. This is a Kansas City Chiefs logo. No, I do not have the rights to it, but I am not selling it. This is for a friend of mine for Christmas, so I am just giving it to them. I'm not making a profit. In our oven, we've got the back piece for it. So there it is. We welded some little uh, round, solid metal tubular pieces to it. And we're going to powder coat these parts up. We also have some house divided Iowa State Hawkeye signs on our cart. Again, please do not worry. I am not selling these all for a profit. These are for Christmas gifts. So chill out. So we're going to do a two tone on here. And we're going to do a three tone on the KC one. We're going to go black red and then the KC letters are going to be white so let's go ahead we're going to let these cool down a little bit I just was burning off any oil once they are cool we're going to go ahead and get these into black we're going to do a partial black partial red for school colors and uh, we'll see how this thing goes all right so we've got our parts in there they're still cooling down a little bit I cleaned out our powder got our gloss black on here um, we're gonna do something I haven't ever done before on these. We're gonna actually knock our air down really low. Um, and what I'm trying to do is just get a really small, tiny cloud. It won't matter on this part so much, but I just want to do a light black right in there. So I'm gonna get a small cloud. Um, once we're ready to spray, I'll get you guys up on the tripod so that you can kind of see how I do it. I'll come up here, we'll get that cloud smaller and smaller, and then we'll come out and spray them. So that's the plan. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to coat this one first. So we're going to, ah, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was, that was silly. Uh, we're going to take these out of here, um, hang them up over here just to get them out of the way. I don't want to get a ton of overspray all over them while I'm coating the big sign.
so we got those all coated now. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put them in the oven. We're gonna do a full cure. These are going inside, so I'm not worried about delamination or anything like that. Um, I'm actually gonna hit this again real quick because you can see where it's picture framing around it. So I'm gonna hit that again real quick. This is a back, so it's not a big deal. I'd rather have it happen back there than here. But it tells me that this is probably too light. So I'm going to hit that real quick. I'm not going to record it because I just need to do it. And then we'll get it into the oven and we'll catch back up when we hit the red. All right, guys, these just came out of the oven. They're still toasty warm. They're looking pretty good. You can see our fade there. Now the key to this is we're going to let these cool all the way back down to room temperature. Because if we were to spray these hot, any of that powder floating in the air is going to get into the black and stick, melt in. We don't want that. So we're going to let them cool down, and then we're going to do our red up here. That's going to come off. We're going to replace it with the other side, and we're going to put that on here and do all the red together. So i got to clean out this box and get it all going. All right, guys. So we've got the red in the box. We've got our KC sign, our two other signs over there. Um, I'm kind of going to explain what we're going to do just because I'm not going to be able to talk with my mask on and with the fan running. So we're going to spray this, take it off. We're going to bring those over now that they're at room temperature. And we're going to just do the, uh, I think they call it the ombre, I don't, whatever, effect where we bring that red in. We just kind of blend it into the black, kind of gives it a cool little look. Um, the reason we're letting it cool, that is if we get too much red on there, we can blow it back off and start over. So... That is why we let them cool completely down. Also partially why we let the, the first top coat basically cure out. So let's get that part started.
Okay, if you want to know why you should never do stuff when you're in a hurry, it's because I did this backwards. So these legs should have been welded on the back side. This is the way it goes. So I get to recut this over there on that, and I get to re-weld these onto the new piece. I'll just cut these off. We'll uh, weld them to the next piece, and then we'll recode it, and then we'll put the top on. But they actually came out pretty good, so let's take a look at what's going on over there. So those just came out of the oven. We got our little fade right there. Doesn't look too bad. That's the back side of the panels. So look at that. I think that came out perfect. Then we got our KC sign. So I got to recut the back plate, reweld the legs on, repowder coat it black. We're going to put that on, and then I will show you the white. But it is all right. We're going to go ahead and run the program here. And I didn't put water in the table from the last time I emptied it, so it's going to be smoking. All right, so here is how we're going to do it. We've got the messed up part here. I just cut the part out of there. So we're going to grind that down. We're going to get it powder coated. We're going to cut these legs off, weld them to it, repowder coat everything. But this is how we're going to do the white. This is vinyl. We've done it a couple different ways. You could actually come in here and tape it all off, spray the white in here with powder. I don't want to do that. That's a lot of stupidness. So this is vinyl. It's outdoor rated. We took this sign, placed it here, traced it. We're gonna cut inside of it. And then we're gonna apply it to the black base. And then we're gonna sandwich the pieces together so the white shows out through the letters. And that's how we're gonna do it. So um, you're gonna see footage of me cutting all this stuff up and all that. Hang out till the end. It's gonna be worth it. This is gonna look really cool. burnt or cut off some new legs, welded it on, tack welded it real quick. We're going to clean this up with a little uh, lacquer thinner, uh, drill a hole in it to hang it, and then we'll get on the cart and into black. All right. That would have gone a lot faster if I wasn't one handed it. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take the grinder, we're going to grind up the little lips there, and then where you see the welds here on the back side it kind of puckers out so we're going to grind that down real fast too all right we're gonna wipe it down get it onto the rack to coat it Best sponsor yet Alright guys, so we redid the sign. This one was done backwards. That's why you pay attention to what you're doing. So real quick, I cut out a new one. We've got the sign laid out. We're going to use vinyl to do the back. Um, so what I'm doing right now, I've got my paint pen. I'm going to put little marks here on the outer edges. On the extremes, uh, right, left, high, low, and what that will do is make sure that we're 100% covered when we lay the vinyl down. Because you want to get it centered on there. So we're going to let that dry, we're going to take this off, and then we'll put the vinyl down. So hit the top. Alright guys, so that's dry now, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab some tape. If you've never laid vinyl before. So now that we have those dots there, we can kind of make sure we're fully covered. We're going to grab the tape, we're going to put it on the back side of the vinyl. What that does is it creates a nice little hinge so that you can uh, lay it out without it moving. And then what we're going to do is pull it straight up. Usually if you can hinge it all the way down, that's a little better. But. And 
you just want to work it back and forth so you push all the air out from underneath it. If you get those bubbles, just bring it back a little bit. Take that off, then we're going to check the fitment on it. And that's pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our same marker, and I'm going to put a dot to line up the top and a dot to line up the bottom so that we can lay it back down. And we're going to flip it over. We're going to put an adhesive on this panel here. So we're gonna put some adhesive on here to glue it down to here. We'll line up the marks and then we'll use a little bit of uh, um, degreaser or whatever to get that back off of it. All right, so we've got this Scotch extremely strong mounting tape. It's 30 pound capacity in a roll here. And what we're gonna do is just peel it out we're going to put it in a couple different spots on the sign. And I promise you this is way overkill. Because it's so crazy strong, right? Right. probably get away with one strip of that stuff and it would still stick forever. It would stick, but it's good to have a good equal amount to keep it. I really hate the pill in this crap. You get about one shot with this too because it sticks almost immediately. And that's pretty good. And you just want to put some good pressure on it. So because there's no redoing it, that's why you put the paint marks on, right? Absolutely. All right, now we gotta find All right, so we're just going to use a little lacquer thinner. If you did your powder right, it's not going to hurt it too much because we're not going to be really scrubbing it. We just want to get that white off of there. So you don't want to, like, rub it forever. You just want to get the white off. <laughs> when your camera guy thinks he's artistic that's not the word I used what word do you use <laughs> I said spectrum spectrum <laughs> so that's basically it we got a two piece sign with three colors you already saw the Iowa State sign 
that's how we do it. So you could have painted that, but the vinyl works just as good. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, give me that big old thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot of new stuff coming. We're getting outside of just powder coating. We're doing a bunch of different stuff. So you'll want to make sure you keep following along. We'll catch you on the next one.